Another medium we're using to help identify Staphylococcus aureus specifically is DNA agar. DNA agar contains bacterial DNA in the agar itself. And Staphylococcus aureus produces DNA or deoxyribonuclease, an enzyme that breaks down the DNA in the agar. So we inoculated the plate by streaking a single line of our unknown down the center of the plate and to find out whether or not the bacterium is DNA positive or DNA negative, we now have to add one molar hydrochloric acid to the surface of the Petri plate. So we want to add enough of the acid to cover the surface of the agar plate. So we put on some acid, we swirl it around a little bit. See if it's covering the surface, we'll add just a little bit more. And we'll do the same thing with our other unknown. Now we're going to let that sit for about a minute. And then we'll look to see whether or not the DNA in the agar has been hydrolyzed by the bacterial enzyme DNAs. Now that a minute has gone by, we're going to pour the excess acid in our disposal container. Again, we need to be very careful with this. We don't want to pick the plate up and look at it uh, because that acid will run out the Petri plate and run all over you or on the bench top. So we have to make sure all the excess acid has been removed from the agar surface. So we'll pour the excess acid in our container. And we're ready to look at the results. So we can see pretty clearly here that the organism on the left has a nice clear zone around the growth. Now the reason for that is that the acid that we add causes any DNA remaining in the agar to precipitate out a solution. And when the DNA precipitates out a solution, the agar becomes cloudy. So anywhere where the agar appears cloudy or opaque, the DNA is still present. If we see a clear zone around the growth, like we see in the organism on the left, that indicates there's no longer any DNA around the growth. It was hydrolyzed by the DNAs of the bacterium. So again, we can see that this bacterium is DNA positive. We see a nice clear zone around the growth where the DNA has been broken down, characteristic of Staphylococcus aureus. And we see in the organism on the left, there's no clear zone around the growth. The agar is turned opaque, and so that organism is DNA negative, which is characteristic of other species of Staphylococcus.